In this video, we are going to see how to set up Facebook lead ads automation with Slack, Google Calendar, Salesforce, and WhatsApp. Now, this is a complete integration thing where every time you have received a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead, the details would be shared with your team sitting on Slack. It would be added as a new contact in Salesforce, which is your CRM. Then let's say that you have held a particular event for all these leads, then automatically the lead would be added as a guest in that particular event. And it will also receive a message through WhatsApp talking about the event and talking about the successful registration. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to set up some integration between Facebook, Slack, Salesforce, Google Calendar, and WhatsApp. And the same thing can be done using Pabbly Connect software. So just one click, then automatically this entire thing would happen. Now, how can you do that? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you already are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabbly Connect. So here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time I receive a lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically my team who's sitting on Slack should be informed about that lead. Also, I have arranged an event on Google Calendar, then all the new leads should be enrolled for that particular event. And at the same time, the new lead should be added in my CRM, that is Salesforce, and a WhatsApp message should be sent to the person informing the person about the event. So how would I name this? I'm going to name it as set up Facebook lead ads automation with Slack, Google Calendar, Salesforce, and WhatsApp. Now I'm going to click on create. So as I do that here, I have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. So now my workflow is gonna trigger every time a Facebook lead has been obtained. So I'm going to choose my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event here would be new lead instant. So this will trigger as soon as we receive a new lead instantly. So here you can see on the right hand side, it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which means that this application has no polling time. So you will receive the response instantly. Now I'm going to click on connect and here Pabbly Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook lead ads account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Facebook lead ads. So here I've already logged into my Facebook account. So you can see that the authorization has been successful. As soon as this happens, Pabbly Connect is connected with Facebook lead ads. Now here I have to fill in this information, the page and the lead generation form. So let me take you to my Facebook account. This is my Facebook account. And here, let me show you the pages. These are the pages. And here I have created a particular page. The name is Pabbly Tech. So if I show you this particular page here, you can see that this is an education based page where you can come and enroll for the different courses. Now, let me take you back to Pabbly Connect. And here I'm going to select the page that I've just showed you, which is Pabbly Tech. So let's click on this. And now since there was only one lead generation form, so it has already been captured by the system. Now, what is it that I have to do? I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here it is saying that I have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now to do this test submission, let's go and click on this hyperlink Facebook lead ads testing tool. So as I do that here, you can see that this tool is to be used to test our API integration and we can create a test lead to confirm that our integration is set up to receive data correctly. Now here I'm going to select the page, which is Pabbly Tech. 
so here it is let's click on this now i'm going to preview the form so here we have the form let's fill in the data so first of all we have to fill in the name so let's say it is demo user then we have the email so it is demo user at pablitudes.com then we have the phone number so i'm going to write nine and then finally in which class your child wants to take admission so let's say it is class eight okay once done let's click on next so here it is asking me to submit so i'm just submitted the form and yes here we are done with the submission once done let me take you back to public connect and here we have received the api response so these are the details now as soon as i have received these details what should happen my team which is sitting on slack should be informed about it so i'm going to go down and here i'm going to choose my next application as slack let's click on this and the action event here would be to send a channel message let's click on connect now here public connect is asking to connect itself with the slack account so i'm going to click on add new connection connect with slack and now here it is asking me for the token type so i'm going to select user let's click on save and here public connect is requesting permission to access the pably slack workspace so i'm going to click on allow and here you can see that the authorization has been successful so once this is done here we have to map this information the channel message image url if you have board name board icon etc now what is mapping mapping means that i have this information in my system or it is there in the previous step i'm just going to retrieve it here so now i'm going to take you to my slack account so this is my slack account and here i have got various channels you can create a channel by clicking on this add channels option and here i have already created a channel the name is new lead pably tech and i've also added a few guests so going back to pably connect i'm going to look for this particular channel which is so let's look for new lead so here we have new lead pably tech let's click on this and now here we have to write a message so let's say the mess message is hey team we have received a new lead through facebook lead ads details are name email address contact number and class so now i'm going to map this information so let's click on this and here this is the name then we have the email address again i'm going to go to step one and this is the email address then we have the mobile number and here is the mobile number and then we have the class so as i go to step one here we have the class now this is the information and this is the message that i wish to share with my team on slack if you have any image details or board name or board icon you can always fill in the same now i'm going to take you down and click on save and send test request so here we have received the api response and this is the message that has been shared with my team on slack so now i'm going to take you to slack to check if we have received this message and yes here you can see that we have received the message now going back to public connect what do i want i want the same person to be added to my crm which is salesforce so now i'm going to add another action step over here and this time the application would be salesforce so here it is now the action event here would be to create a contact okay so i want this person to be added to my crm let's click on connect here i'm going to click on add new connection as public connect wants to connect itself with salesforce account so that it can have access to the information let's click on connect with salesforce here we have to allow the access i'm going to click on allow and as i do that here you can see that the authorization has been successful now again we are supposed to map this data and here you can see that the fields required are last name first name and then we have the address and then we have the phone number email address etc but i do not have my name in first name and last name format i have the complete name so here i am going to add an action step which is a feature by pably which is text formatter let's click on this action event here would be to split text let's click on connect now here what is the text that i wish to split so i'm going to go to step one and here i have the name now what do i want i want demo and user to be separated so the separator here would be i'm going to write double curly braces and space 
and then again I'm going to close it in the same way so this space is the separator understood so now what is the segment do I want that I want I want both the segments so I'm going to click on all and click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received our information in the desired format. So going back to Salesforce, I'm going to quickly save the existing connection. And here I'm going to map the data. So the last name, I'm going to go to step three and this is my last name. Then the first name, again go to step three, this is the first name. Then I'm going to leave this blank. And as I go down here, we have the mobile phone. So the mobile phone is this. So once done, then we have the email address. So again, I'm going to click on this, go to step one, and this is the email address. Then if you wish to add a title or a department, you can always do the same. I'm going to leave this blank, and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that this API result we have received and it says that it's a success which means that a contact must be created in our Salesforce CRM under the name demo user. So now I'm going to take you to my Salesforce and here let's go to contacts. You can see that yes, this particular user has been created, right? So this is the mobile number, email address and here is the name. So as of now, we are going on the right track. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. Now, what is my next objective? My next objective is that let's say that after all the registrations, after the month, I have created an event and I want all these new leads to be added to that particular event. And once this event is over, you can always change the date of your event and the workflow can run smoothly. So I'm going to add another action step over here. This time it is going to be Google Calendar. So here it is. The action event here would be add guest to an event. So I already have an existing event. I'm just going to add my guest to this. Now let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Calendar account. Let's select add new connection and then sign in with Google. Here we have to select the account. Once done, let's provide the authorization. So I'm going to click on continue. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, so here we have to select the calendar. So it is Ashi Rai and then the event. So now let me take you to my Google Calendar and show you the event that I have created. So I'm going to take you to Google Calendar here on 21st of December. I have created an event which is counseling seminar for all the leads, basically the students who have registered with me. This is on Wednesday, 21st of December from 10 to 11 a.m. Right now taking you back to Pabli Connect here. I have to add the guest and here we have to add the email address of the guest. So I'm going to click on this, go to step one and this is the email address. And now let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that our user has been registered for this particular event. The API response has been received. Okay, so status is confirmed. So my final step here is that I want to send a message on WhatsApp to this particular lead telling him about the confirmation of the event and that's that he has been registered. So now I'm going to go down and this time my final action step would be WhatsApp Cloud API. Let's click on this. And now here the action event would be to send template message. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with WhatsApp Cloud API account. Now to set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection. And here we read the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID to set up this connection. How can we get that? For this, I'm going to take you to my metaphor developers page. Let's go to my applications. And here you can see that I have created a few applications. You can create your own by clicking on this tab, create app. Here I'm going to go for my connect message app. As soon as I reach here on the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. Let's click on the drop down and here let's click on getting started. So as we reach here, you can see that we have received everything that is required to set up the connection. We have the token, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. But there is one very important thing, which is this is 
just a temporary access token which means that if you create your workflow using this token your workflow will cease after 23 hours because this token will expire in 23 hours which means a day so you have to create a permanent access token a dedicated video for the same is given in the video description please go through the same and then you would be able to create on your own now since this is just a test case i'm going to copy this go back to Pabli connect paste this over here then we have the phone number id so here is the phone number id go back to Pabli connect paste this and then the whatsapp business account id so this is it and here i have pasted it let's click on save so here you can see that the connection has been set now we have to fill in this information so first of all let's start with the template name what is a template so when i have to send messages in bulk i cannot write the same message again and again so i can have basic templates which are pre-written messages where i can change certain variables like name email address etc and then personalized messages can be shared now here i already have created a template which is new lead final let me show you how you can get this so going back to metaphor developers page let's go to step two i'm going to click here as soon as we do that here we can you can see that all the templates that i have created till now you can see them here you can create your own template by clicking on this create template tab now i'm going to look for new lead final this and here you can see that uh, i haven't chosen a header you can choose a header if you wish now let me show you what i have written in my message dear and then here you can see that there is a number within double curly braces thanks for signing up we are happy to have you on board you have been registered for the upcoming then again you have a number on another number all relevant details have been shared at please feel free to connect in case of any queries now what are these numbers these numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message so that you can send a personalized message to your clients and customers without writing them again and again now let me show you how is it going to look so it's like dear and then you have the name user thanks for signing up we are happy to have you on board now here you have been registered for the upcoming demo event so basically this number two is for the event on then number three is for the date all relevant details have been shared at and this is the email address of my user please feel free to connect in case of any queries regards so now i'm going to go back to Pabli connect and here our template has already been selected now here we have to fill in the recipient's mobile number so it is very well written here that you have to enter the mobile number with the country code but without the plus sign so i'm going to go here go to step one this is the mobile number i'm going to add nine one in front this is the country code now this is the name of the user so here we have the name then the name of the event for this i'm going to go to my google calendar which means step five and here is the name of the event then the date now here you can see that we want the date in this particular format but if i take you to the google calendar so here we haven't received the date in the desired format so what am i supposed to do now i have to format the date for this i'm going to go up and here i'm going to add one action step which is a feature by Pabli date time formatter let's click on this and the action event here would be to format date only let's click on this click on connect so here what is the date so i'm going to go to google calendar as i take you down here we have the start date so i'm going to click on this and now the from format so it is exactly in the same format the two format so i want it in a simple date month and year format that is it let's click on save and send test request so here we have received the date right now going back to whatsapp here i'm going to quickly select the existing connection basically just refresh this and now take you down and here we have to fill in the date so i'm going to go to step six and here is the date now the email address of the person so i'm going to go to step one once again and this is the email address so once this is done let's click on save and send test request 
So here you can see that uh, the API response has been received, which means that now we should have received a message on our WhatsApp. So taking you to my WhatsApp and yes, here we have received the message. This is dear demo user. Thanks for signing up. We are happy to have you on board. You have been registered for the upcoming counseling seminar on this particular date. All relevant details have been shared at the email address and please feel free to connect in case of any queries which basically means that our entire integration process is a success. But now we also need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Facebook leads and here I'm going to fill in another detail. So now I'm going to take you back to the lead ads testing form here and we are going to fill in another form. So let's preview the form. So now let's say this time the name of my user is dummy test. Then the email address is dummy test at pablitudes.com then we have the phone number which is and then finally let's say the student is in class 11 let's click on next and here let's submit so as soon as this is submitted what should happen now i'm going to take you to my slack account and here let's refresh this page so here you can see that we have received another message where we have received a new lead to Facebook lead ads details are this is the name and then the email address contact number and the class. So now I'm going to take you to Salesforce and here I'm going to go back to contacts. And yes, another contact has been created with the name dummy test and these are the relevant details. Now I'm going to take you to my Google Calendar and this is my counseling seminar. And here you have the guest. So it is dummy test, right? We have another guest over here. And then now I'm going to take you to my WhatsApp. And here you can see that I have received another message, dear dummy test saying, thanks for signing up and the entire details, which basically means that this entire integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand the entire process. So here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads and the event was new lead instant. Then our action application, the first application was Slack where our event was to send channel message. Then our second application was Salesforce where we had the event as create contact. Since we needed the information, the name in first name and second name format. So we had chosen a feature by Pabli which was text formatter to split the text. And then our action application was Google Calendar where the event was to add guests to an event. Now, the final action application was WhatsApp Cloud API. The event was sent template message. Here we needed the date in a particular format. So we had chosen this feature by Pabli date time formatter. And here we had formatted the date. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to this workflow. It is there in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any doubt or if you have some particular integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.